Hello everyone, welcome to Scenaria, a game created for the Super BR Jam from Otis Game Studio. Their previous two games are Gentum Form and Nivius. I played and really enjoyed, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out. Scenaria is currently available by buying the Super BR Jam bundle, which includes all games created for the Jam as well as a bunch of full games like Magicka and the Showdown Effect. And all money raised goes to charity. As of recording this on the night of November 29th, 2013, there's a little bit less than five days left on the bundle, so it could be over by the time you see this. I'll have a link to the bundle and Otis Game Studios' previous games in the description. As always, I like to think about and analyze a bit the games that I play, so I'll probably be doing that throughout, and especially towards the end. And I think that's all there is to mention. Let's get going. as the rain falls heavily. During what was supposed to be an uneventful evening, a woman finds herself escaping the fires of destruction, only to be plunged into her own personal hell. Will she find her way out? Or be forced to forever wander the twisting alleys of the lost? Here we go. So I've noticed that Otis Game Otis Game Studios games seem to have a very definite art style to them. I almost think at this point I could maybe recognize their games even if I didn't know that they made it beforehand. And I really like it. I just like how they look. So one difference that I've noticed right off the bat is that their previous two games both had a similar control scheme where you could rotate the camera around and for example, I could rotate this like 90 degrees and then I would be moving in a different direction because you, you can only move two different ways, left and right. So I could rotate the camera 90 degrees and then suddenly I'd be moving, say, what is now forwards and backwards, if that makes any sense. That probably doesn't make any sense. Sorry, <laughs> that's a poor description. But um, yeah, it doesn't seem to have that system in here. So it's an interesting change. Let's go. We're in the alleys of the lost, apparently. And I'm not doing too good. Press space to enter. So yeah, I guess instead of rotating the camera, you can just go down a different way by pressing space. This alley of the lost definitely doesn't seem like a real place. Everything's just dead and... There's no sign of life at all, just gray and dead. Ooh, check out this door, examine. This seems to be the only way out. If only I had the code for it. Okay, so I need a code. Let's go try to find it. Let's venture down the alleys of the lost. And hope I don't get even more lost. Oh god, it's a maze, isn't it? I am totally gonna forget where I've been. Guaranteed. Something on that trash can. Something red or pink? What is that? Scalpel. Oh. That's a creepy noise associated with it. Can I use it to... solve a puzzle at some point, maybe? Or defend myself? I don't seem to be able to equip it. I imagine it's probably just used to solve a puzzle of some sort. Alright, well, let's get lost further down the alleys. I saw something in the window. Yeah, there's something in the window. That... I think it's a mannequin of some sort. Like the upper torso, torso of a mannequin. Yeah. They're watching me. In all the windows. It 
It's banged up, but looks brand new. Who would sleep in such a card? Baby card. Okay, well so far I haven't gotten lost, amazingly. Let's see if I can keep that up. Let's go down here next. There's something down there. Whoa. I'm just going to keep moving. What is that? It's a music box. I'd need something to wind it. Okay, need something to wind the music box. Am I going backwards? I feel like I'm going backwards. I think I'm going backwards. I'm pretty sure I just went backwards. Yeah, I did. Heart key. I'm not sure if that noise that plays when you pick something up is supposed to be a good noise, because it just sounds kind of creepy. I don't think that could be used to wind it up, but maybe? I'll try it. Oh yeah, the key fits perfectly. The music box, op the music box opened to reveal a newspaper inside it. Fragmentorum. Wait, can I rotate this? Yeah, I can. Fragmentorum, September 22nd, 1963. House found abandoned. Neighbors complained about loud TV noise every day at 1 a.m. <laughs> and the picture down below is from Argentum Form. <laughs> so this is all tied in. I wonder if that's just a reference or if this is all like part of one story, maybe. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm thinking back to our Argentum form. Wasn't your wife missing? My memory's terrible, so I've probably forgotten, but... Your wife was missing, right? So maybe this is her story? Or... Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Loud TV noise every day at 1 a.m. Did I just go backwards again? No, no, I had to go backwards. That's right, because it's a dead end. I haven't quite gotten lost yet. Not quite. Did I just go down here? Or is it just a similar looking alleyway with those mannequins looking at me? No, I've already been down here. Oh my god, okay, I'm lost. I'm already lost. It's happening. They're all gray. They're all gray alleys. Okay, wow. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. How do I get back to the main street? Alright, I've been down there. I've been back there. I think this is the main street. Please be the main street. This is the main street, yes. Okay. Ooh. So many trash cans. 
Let's just keep going forwards. Something down there as well. There's noise coming from this dumpster. Maybe I can open it with something. Alright, so I need something to pry it open with. Maybe a pipe? Or a crowbar? Maybe something like that. A pipe. There's nothing inside, but a newspaper. Another newspaper. Fragmentorum, December 14th, 1962. Plane vanishes mid-flight. Wreckage not found after one week of searches. I wonder how that's connected. Hmm. Oh, whoa. There's a back. I forgot to check the back. Want to know what's really happening? Follow Fragmentorum. From first issue to last. I remember that was in Nivius as well. I don't know if that was in Argentum form, the following Fragmentorum, but yeah, there's something about this Fragmentorum. It keeps popping up. Oh god, where am I now? I've lost my spatial sense. Is that a doll? Ew! I cut the doll open with a scalpel. There's a newspaper rolled up inside the doll. That sounded disgusting. Are you sure that was a doll and not some living thing? Because it sounded like guts. November 7th, 1963. Mystery in the Wilderness. <laughs> and this is um, Nivius. Mystery in the Wilderness. A uh, fifth person disappears in the snowy mountains this quarter. Yep. I guess all of this, all of these events take place in the same sort of universe. Paper bundle. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's the dates of the papers that are used for the the lock, the code. But if that's true, how do I examine the papers? I don't know how to access my inventory. I didn't see any controls mentioned. If so, I might... Hmm. I hope I wasn't supposed to write those down. This is where I just came from, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. I'm already getting lost. Again. I'm getting re-lost. Can you get lost if you're already lost? I guess you can. Maybe you can get more lost? Okay, is this the main place? No, I don't think it is. I don't even know where I'm at now. Okay, well, let's go over here. Looks like there's three main alleyways to go down. Or is there an alleyway here? Oh, no, there isn't. Never mind. That doesn't go anywhere. Alright, so I missed somewhere. And I probably missed it... here. Paper bundle. What am I going to do with a paper bundle? Right, I'm pretty sure I've already been down here. Well, hold on. Let's keep going.
Well, this is the whole pipe thing, right? Yeah. Maybe it's not here. Maybe I missed something in one of the other alleyways. Alright, I need to fully explore this one, so what's this direction? Nothing. I guess that's where I got the paper bundle from. And over there's the doll, right? Yep. Crap. This isn't good. Some sort of horrible purgatory filled with gray alleyways. Doomed to wander them forever. Already been down there, already been. Yeah, it's not down this alleyway. Welp, let's try the last one. Actually, let's try the door again. Because I'm really curious. I'm pretty sure the dates have to do with the codes, but I don't know how to access it. Yeah, I, I don't know how to access my inventory. I don't know if I can. Space, enter, escape. I... It doesn't seem like you can. I just press, like, every main key on the keyboard. Shift, escape, enter, WASD, QR, control, alt, I, J, M. I don't think you can. Can you see the dates from the images? No, it only shows the front, or the, the back, the Fragmentorum thing, not the dates. Hmm. We'll see, maybe I don't need it. Maybe it's okay. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. Have I been down here? It's not the doll, no, it can't be the doll. That's the music box, right? Yeah. It doesn't play anymore, it's stuck. It's so dreary, so cold and wet. That's where I got the key from. Right, so it's not done there. It's not back there. That is out to the street, or is this out to the street? That's out to the street. This is further in. If it's not down here, then... Where could it be? I'm getting so disoriented from the camera. Okay, so those mannequins again, so this is gonna be... What was it the mannequin place? Was it the dolls? Or the doll? No, the... Yeah, the baby carriage. Actually, wait, do I need to... Can I use the bundle of papers on it somehow? Oh yeah, I set the bundle carefully in the cart and notice it's empty. It's just a newspaper. I could write this one down just in case, the date, but... If I don't have the others, it probably doesn't matter. 1962. Father makes three victims in violent rampage. Commits suicide afterwards. Oh, I think... You know, I think, um... Otis Game Studios actually made another game that I forgot about. I can't remember the name of it, and I haven't played it yet. I should go back and play it. Because I think that's th uh, another one of their games. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Let's get away from the demonic baby laughing noise. So I'm pretty sure it's related to the dates. Probably. 
Only thing is, again, I don't know how to access the inventory. So this could be a problem. I think, um, I think I'm about to hit a wall here. The game didn't come with a readme, either. To look at any controls. So, unless it somehow, like, does it for me. No, okay, um... Well, the year on the last paper was... 1962. I can't imagine why it would only be the year on the last paper, but... I could try 1962? Let's try it. 1962? Did it work? No, it didn't work. I didn't think so. Okay, um, I'm gonna figure this out, and I will be right back. Alright, I am back, so I discovered how you can read the papers. You can read them by clicking on them. You see, I'd forgotten that you even have a mouse, because I shoved it into the corner at the beginning of the game. But yes, I, I have a mouse. <laughs> I just went bleep, put it down there, and completely forgot about it. You have a mouse, so that's how you select things. Yeah, and I discovered what I'm pretty sure is the, um... The code. It is not related to the dates, well... Actually, kind of is. Not directly. Um, but each paper has... Mentions a number in the headline. And the number is emphasized by a little blood mark. If you notice there, it says every day at 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. One week. The fifth person. And three victims. So those are the numbers you need, of course, and I believe they're, I'm assuming that they're probably sorted by the date they happened, which, if it's, if that's correct, I'm going to shove my mouse back in the corner here, if that is correct, then the code should be 1315. Let's try it. I wonder if I can use my mouse for this. No, that's a weird thing. It's, that's the only thing the mouse seems to be used for, is just for selecting items. I forgot about it. I'll just put it, it's okay, mouse, you just go back to your corner, mouse. It's okay. Okay, so 1315. Actually, it would have been faster to go the other way, but oh well, I'm already committed. Alright. Come on. Come on. There we go. Door unlocked. At the end of her long walk, she found an exit that led even further away than she had ever intended to go. Forever gone, has she truly been freed from her inner demons? Or simply crossed the threshold to an even greater torment? The End Good question, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> okay, well... I wonder, if anything, I wonder if anything's gonna happen here. Could there be a scene after the credits? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, let's delve into it. Let's analyze it a bit. Um. Let's see, where to start? I always have trouble figuring out where to start. And then afterwards, I always think, Man, there's so many things I wish I said, but then I didn't. <laughs> but I'll do my best. Okay. Well... Um, just like their other games, I really like it. The graphic style is still very good. They have... They seem to have their own particular graphic style that I really like. Uh, the sound design is very good. Once again, there's a very nice use of ambient tracks, and that was the same for Argentum Form and Nivius. Argentum Form had a very nice creepy background, and Nivius had a very... Well, sort of the same thing. A nice creepy background, but in Nivius it was created by sort of the sound of snow and stuff, and... And things like that, just the sounds of nature. And in this case, it was it was mostly the same, just the sound of the the pounding rain, the the unceasing, relentless rain. Just added to the dreariness of it. So the graphics and sound are quite good. Uh, let's see what next. Um, I like how it ties together. I'm not sure if ties together is really the right word. Because I still can't make any coherent sense of the storyline, but I like how it involves their other games. Almost as if they all exist within some sort of single universe. 
It's very strange. It's not something you'd expect from a bunch of small games created for a bunch of different game jams to have them all connected in some way. is really interesting. I like it. Even though it doesn't form together to, to form any sort of cohesive whole that I can figure out, I still just like that they're all connected in some way. And it's not just like... It's not just like a cheesy reference, like, here's another game we made, you know? But it's actually... It actually seems to be part of the universe. It keeps showing up in the, these papers that keep popping up in their games. It feels connected. It feels like it's connected, but we just don't know how yet. All these things. Hmm. Alright, well, um, in terms of what I think could be improved, well... I don't even know if I should mention the mouse thing. I don't know if that if is if that's something that could be improved or just something that is me being stupid. Because I literally forgot the mouse even existed. Because I shoved it into the corner. But it's very strange that it's not used for anything else. Yeah, I'm not sure how you can get around that. But it's not used for anything else, so I just forgot about it. I don't know. If there's some way to make the mouse clearer, or maybe just to have normal um, controls to access the inventory, like maybe you press I... And it switches to the inventory, and then you can use the arrow keys to switch from item to item, and then you press space to, to use the item, you know, that sort of thing. I guess that would have been nice, but eh, it's a minor thing. I think that's at least mostly my fault, the fact that I forgot about the mouse. Uh, I forget about a lot of things. Um, I think I think going through the different alleyways, I found it a little bit tedious. Which I think might... Well, I don't think being tedious is the point. However, it's obviously supposed to be kind of maze-like. You're supposed to be in the... What was it? The alleys of the, the Lost? I think it was called. So you're supposed to be in some strange world and you don't know where the hell you're going. And it's obviously meant to be maze-like. Um, so I guess this is a taste thing more than anything else. But personally, I don't really care for mazes. It's kind of... It's a little bit... Ah, that's the right word. I don't know, I guess it's just kind of repetitive to be going down alleyways slowly, again and again. I mean, you're supposed to be lost. I, I get that, you're supposed to be lost. And I was. So that part worked. But... Eh, I don't know. That's probably just a taste thing. It's hard for me to tell. Let's see, anything else? I don't know, nothing else I can think of now. I'm sure I'll think of more later. But I liked it. I don't think it's quite as... as satisfying as the other two games of theirs that I've played. Argentum Form and Nivius. I don't know, they've... All, all three of their games actually have been very... When it comes to the story, just very inconclusive, I guess you could say. It's almost as if all of their games so far that I've played, all three, have been sort of just part of this greater story. Like little, little tiny snippets, but they're not snippets that are big enough to leave me satisfied. However, they do leave me wanting more. I'm always intrigued by what they offer. Even though they don't leave me satisfied, I'm still intrigued. Like, everyone is a glimpse into just a strange and kind of disturbing world. That's about all I can think of to mention. So, yeah, it's a good game. Really interesting art style. I like the sound. I like that they tie all the, all the games together in some way. Which is surprising. I didn't expect that. And it's good. Yeah, it's good. Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Scenaria. Thank you for watching.